Hey guys, it's me, Dave, and welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars review. Today I have a pretty special droid set, which is the Droidica. <laughs> and not gonna lie, as a big Clone Wars and prequel fan, this is super exciting. This is kind of the droids that I've been looking for for a long time. Hopefully after this, we'll see a super battle droid and regular B1 battle droid. But the set's gonna be retailing for $65. The set number is 75381, 583 pieces. So not exactly the best price per piece ratio here, which is unfortunate. We'll talk more about price towards the end of the review. On the back of the box, there is a printed plaque as well as a minifigure scale droidica, an all new design here. Now this set has leaked and so I've been seeing fans reactions online and a lot of people are mixed about this droidica. However, my personal first impression, I haven't built the set yet, is I kind of like it. I don't know, I'm gonna compare it to other droidicas. We'll see what they all look like next to each other. But what is also worth noting on the back of the box is the droidica itself, the model that you're getting here, does actually fold up into a ball. So I wonder if you can actually roll it down the table or not. That'll be interesting to see. Now the droidica is probably being made this year because it is the 25th anniversary of the Phantom Menace, but it's also coming with a 25th anniversary Lego Star Wars brick. So this is a 25th anniversary Lego Star Wars set. I'm excited to put this one together. I do wanna thank Lego for sending this today over for a review. And without further ado, let's go into the in depth of the droidica. So first off, there is a few stickers in this set, tend to be exact. Not crazy, but again, I would like to see these printed, obviously. Next, this is the first LEGO Star Wars set that I've seen with the paper bags that LEGO's switching over to, which is fascinating to me, at least. And then moving on to the Droidica now, before we take a look at the full-on set, let's look at this plaque stand here. On the right side, we have a printed 25th anniversary brick. Then next to that, we have the printed plaque piece. You can pause the video right now if you want to read the information about the Droidica. And then finally, we have an all-new redesigned version of a minifigure scale Droidica, which is, um, it's interesting. And I say that because I'm pretty mixed about this minifigure scale version. I'm not sure how I feel about it, really. Uh, there's some aspects about it that I like, some that I don't. I like the legs, I like some of the body, but I don't know how I feel about those arms. And then when you compare it to the 2002 Droidica, which I'm shockingly surprised of how well it holds up literally 20 plus years later, I'd arguably say the 2002 version looks better and you can fold it up into a ball unlike this version. Maybe it's the use of the droid arms that makes the older version look a little more tactile, a little more droid-like, who knows, but the new version just doesn't hit right, at least to me. Now what about the giant droidica, the big set that you're paying for? Is it any good? Again, this is a set I'm a little mixed on. It's, it's okay. It's it's got some good and bad to it. So first off, the good side, it looks like a droidica from the Phantom Menace from the Clone Wars show. It looks great in that regard. It even has some functionality where you can move the guns back and forth. It's a little bit of an awkward feature, but it's possible. Another awkward feature is the fact that this thing can roll up into a ball. While that's obviously accurate to the real droidica, how you do this process is a little strange. There's even like a couple pages in the instruction booklet to show you step-by-step -step how to do this. It's fairly simple once you kind of figure it out. And once it's in the ball version, it's a little difficult to actually roll it. I don't know if this was intended that to actually, you know, physically roll it down a table, but you can do it. It just, you gotta get the right kind of thing going on with your hand and it, it can work. In its ball form, it also looks accurate. You know, it looks like a folded up droidica. It doesn't look, you know, like anything's popping out in a weird way. It's just the process of doing this isn't very pleasant though I don't imagine many fans are gonna be doing this very often anyways because it is technically just a display set. Now from like the mock standpoint of this set, I think there's a lot of great details, nice greebling in certain places. I like the parts uses of some tube pieces. It all looks good, all blends well. In fact, I'll get to my favorite piece here in a second. In terms of returning the Droidica into its normal battle position mode, I think this is actually an easier process than putting it into the ball. Of course, you are not getting the shield generator or the blue bubble around this, which would be awesome, but I don't know how Lego would do that. Looking at the face of the Droidica, or at least those three eyes up in the front, this is my favorite part usage right here. Utilizing the lipstick Lego piece to get those little eyes, I think that's Really brilliant, I love that. Finally, we get on to the comparison side for the Droidica. First off, I thought it would be interesting to bring in the OG 2000 LEGO Technic Destroyer Droid or Droidica. And it's interesting to see that this new brick belt version, not utilizing at least very many Technic parts, uh, looks quite a bit smaller compared to this old version. The 2000 Technic set 
also had almost the same exact part count as the newer 2024 version, which is fascinating. And the older version retailed for $50 instead of 65. Next, I wanted to bring in a set that shows the scale of this Droidica to help a lot of you understand that it's a little bit on the smaller side. It's just a tiny bit bigger in some ways than the Captain Rex helmet from last year. Now, I compared these two sets because they're technically both from the prequels, hence why I didn't bring in another droid set. And I think it makes sense and it really hopefully shows off the scale because I think a lot of people who have Captain Rex would be considering the Droidica set to also put on their shelves. And you can see they look nice side by side though. Again, the Droidica isn't all that big. So on that note, you guys know me. I'm a giant prequels fan, so it's amazing to finally get a prequel-based brick-built droid set. And I think the Droidica looks really good. It's very accurate looking, though in person, I don't know why it's not as interesting to me. I can't really explain it. It's just kind of a feeling. And then on top of that, the minifigure scale Droidica is also a little bit of a letdown to me. You know, I had high hopes for the Droidica set, and... I, I almost feel a little let down by this one. It's a good set. Like it's relatively the style and shape and functions like the Droidica. You can turn it into the ball though. It's a little awkward. It works, it does. And I like this little stand here. It matches the rest of the Lego Star Wars droid sets that we've gotten over the past you know, five plus years now. Not a huge fan of this Droidica, this minifigure scale one. I thought I was gonna like it, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm just pretty mixed on it. It's okay. It's not bad. It really isn't bad, but it's not the greatest. I don't know. I've seen fan designers do better and this wouldn't be my first choice. So the overall package here, $65, 583 pieces, not exactly the best value. Price-wise, maybe $50 I think would be much more suitable. I think that's actually probably the price I'd be willing to pay for this. I don't think I could go out and pay day one, 65 bucks. It just, it, it doesn't, Mm, it just doesn't feel quite that value. Uh, and especially when you compare this to the old Technic Droidica, this thing's smaller than I was expecting. I expected it to be a little bigger, but it's relatively small, which might be a good thing. You might only have a certain shelf area or space on your desk for a set like this. Uh, so smaller builds are appreciated by LEGO Star Wars fans. But, you know, I, I think if you can get this set for either $50 or under, it's worth it. At 65 I probably can't recommend it. Though I don't think it's a bad set and 65 isn't like a ton of money either. I don't know, I'm I'm conflicted about this one. It's okay, it's just okay. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. But I mean, if you're gonna pick this up day one, I don't think you're gonna be upset because it looks really good. The Droidic is one of my favorite battle droids from the Separatists, so it's pretty sweet seeing it now in like this bigger brick built form. Well, thank you, Lego, for sending this set over for review. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below of the Droidica. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.